The basic needs trust fund is set to enter its 11th cycle. On June 4, 2024, a pivotal stakeholder meeting held at the National Skills Development Center engaged and informed key stakeholders about the project's identification process, which will ensure the success of the upcoming cycle. This milestone marks a decade of transformative development facilitated through the continued partnership between the St. Lucia Social Development Fund SSDF and the Caribbean Development Bank CDB. Speaking at the event, the Executive Director of the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, John Victorin, emphasized the importance of reducing the gestation period for projects in the 11th cycle. We are on the cusp of implementation of the 11th cycle of the project. And this time around, we are focused on ensuring that the project gestation period is a lot shorter. So we have held, we have organized this session to ensure that we share the information with stakeholders and stakeholders can fully utilize the information shared to identify projects and prepare project proposals for the 11th cycle of the BNTF. With a focus on empowering communities, BNTF 11 will provide essential funding and support for projects in critical areas such as community access and drainage, water and sanitation, education and human resource development, and livelihood. We've not launched the BNTF 11 cycle officially, but we are setting the stage for this. And this would involve working with key stakeholders like yourselves and um, other community organizations, parliamentary representatives, um, et cetera, to ensure that we develop a pipeline of projects that we can um, get approval from our oversight entity, that's our board at SSDF, and also at CDB, so that we can commence implementation for the next um, four years. Noted BNTF Deputy Project Manager, Brendan Antoine, in highlighting the critical role of early project identification in the upcoming cycle. Minister for Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, Honorable Joachim Henry, stressed the importance of inclusive and comprehensive discussions during the project identification stage. So it's important that as you do project identification that you do not just speak to yourself and the community, but you also mainstream the discussion with other sectors, the Ministry of Education, WASCO, Ministry of Infrastructure, to find out whether that same project is already being discussed at the Caribbean Development Bank, not at the BNTF level, but at another level. Because when it gets to the, to the bank to be approved, all of those heads of departments sit there and will say, but this one we are discussing it with Mr. Edward, and isn't it this that we're supposed to do? So then it's important we do this in country that we do not create this em em embarrassment. So do not sit here as head of agencies thinking of identifying projects without allowing the project to go through the conversation in country. Since its inception, the BNTF has allocated an estimated U.S. $20 million dollars or EC $54 million for over 100 sub-projects throughout St. Lucia. To date, the SSDF along with the CDB remains committed to fostering community development and ensuring that the projects funded through the BNTF cycle are impactful and sustainable. From the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, Chevroy Marius.